One of Edpuzzle's coolest features is your ability to voice over a video, either the entire video or just a portion of the video. I'm going to um, demo that on this Linking Verbs video from Khan Academy. Um, just to show you how I got here, I'm going to go back to um, the home page. I clicked into my content and then I clicked on my Linking Verbs video. Um, you can get to this screen from lots of different places. The important thing is you want to find this edit button. So when I click on edit, um, I have uh, my voiceover tab here and the interface is very straightforward. Um, all you have is your red start recording button and your timeline. If you're going to voice over the entire video, you can just leave the dot where it is, click start recording and go all the way until you want to stop or until three minutes and one second. If there's a specific portion of the video that you want to voice over, um, you can move the we dot. Were. <clears throat> you can move the dot to that portion of the video. Um, so let's say I know that at 40 seconds I want to begin my own voiceover. Um, I can leave the dot, click start recording, and then I just need to know where to stop my voiceover. The other key piece you heard just now when the uh, video played. I have my audio on the computer audible. I need to mute my computer so that when I click the start recording button, you can't hear the other voice that's playing in the video itself. So um, your computer will record the actual audio from the video as it plays unless you mute that audio. Um, so now I've muted it so I can click start recording. Linking verbs are awesome. This is the section of the video that is just my voice instead of the actual author's voice. Now I can, I'm going to turn my volume back on, and I can play this video. I'm sorry, I can play my voiceover, um, which starts, it shows me it starts at 40 seconds and it goes a full 8 seconds. So I can play it just to hear what it sounds like to test if it's good. Linking verbs are awesome. Uh, if I like it, then I can keep recording. You can see that um, I can just move along the timeline here and start recording again. Or I can click a little bit ahead of my voiceover to hear what it sounds like um, embedded within the video itself. They have been, he was, we were. Linking verbs are awesome. This is the section of the video that is just my voice instead of the actual author's voice and the state of being side, just to show you. And you heard that um, the audio from the original video picked up immediately after my eight seconds was over. Um, that is the voiceover. Again, I could do this as many times as I want throughout the entire video, or just this one iteration, whatever, whatever works for my needs. And when I'm finished, I just come up and click finish. And now I'm back to the video. This is the edited one. If I started here at 40 seconds, you would hear my voice instead of the original, and I can go ahead and assign it if I'm ready.